Nagsasagawa po ng press conference ang Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting o PPCRV. Panoorin po natin ito. The Project Managing Officer of the Election. And Smartmatic is the company or the entity they contracted to take care of transmission. So they really have to be in tandem there at the transparency server house in the other building here in Payus, no? So their presence, the 24-hour presence in that transparency server room is also required. It is alleged by the complaint of UNA and the manifestation of the Liberal Party that a certain Daton Serino tampered with the data from the server. But this was denied by Comelec and they said, and rightly so I guess, I'm not a technical person, but an IT person also observed that this can be seen if there was any deletion or tampering done, this can be seen to a review of the audit logs. They said, Comelec said they did review, but we would like to see it personally. So we asked Smartmatic to present to us the audit logs this afternoon so that we ourselves and our IT team can see that if there was or there was not any tampering or deletion done. That, uh, that uh, answered, uh, I'd like to let you know that 11, at 11.54, Chairman Six Sobriliantes called me to say that they intend to proclaim this afternoon five to six senators since uh, the tallies that they have, uh, they have, they have entered the required number of votes to be in the winning list. But UNA uh, say, uh, elevated a motion for deferment of proclamation. So the Chairman Brillant has said that before any proclamation will be done, they will meet and bank to resolve the motion of UNA. If they approve the motion, that means they will temporarily suspend proclamation. If they deny the motion, that means for our purposes that they will stop temporarily uh, transmission to us from the transparency server. In other words, we will not be getting any data from the transparency server. But we did make clear that after the proclamation of 12 senators, we can resume, uh, they will uh, resume feeding us with transmission data from the transparency server. And, well, that is the announcement we are making on the side of PPCRB because since we jointly, we jointly uh, do the unofficial parallel count with KDP, I will now give the microphone to our KDP counterpart, Mr. Hermano Basbaño, President of the Kapisanan ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas. Uh, thank you, Madam Ambassador. Well, the KDP has uh, a role to play, as you know that. We are uh, together in this industry, most of you. And uh, the role includes that of informing the public of what's happening. Aside from that, the KDP has been mandated by law to receive the election return direct from the precinct. I haven't seen in that particular provision of the law that there is a requirement or there is no if and, uh, no, if and no but in that uh, law that I know of. And uh, also, we of course are righteous people in the KDP, we will respect what's right, what is proper, what is legal. However, we are a little bit worried of the result of this move by the Commission on Elections to uh, sort of stop us from uh, informing the public of what is the latest figure getting into their server, which is passed on to us in the KDP and, of course, the same with the PTCRV. I'm not saying that uh, hunky pump is or anything illegal is being done, but as I said, it might 
not be able to address the problem that we have right now. I am referring to the anxiety of many of our people. You do not solve, you do not solve the problem by creating more anxieties in the minds of people. So why this kind of action? That is why maybe we can ask, just like what the Ambassador is saying, the Commission on Election, Chairman Brillantes, to explain further this move coming from them and to explain further the delays in the transmission of the figures coming in from the precincts, coming in from the Board of Canvassers in the municipalities and in the provincial level. That is what we are asking from the Commission on Election. I have with me with uh, in the group of the KDP, our General Counsel, General Attorney uh, Reggie Hularbal, and our ED, Ray Hulog, who might be able to add uh, uh, some important points on this issue. Okay, later. Just as a point of comparison, because many of you are very interested in this. In 2010, when the transparency server, which was also placed in PPCRV, closed, in other words, in media language, when we met dark, we were able to read transmissions equivalent to 90.35% of all the precincts. When the transmissions ended in 2010, we were not able to see 9.65% of all the PCOS transmissions. We complained about this already before the 2013 elections. We are even more concerned now, as mentioned by Ambassador de Villa and Mr. Herman Basbanio of KVP, that this time, if we go dark, and we will go dark when, this, when uh, proclamations start and we have to suspend our operations, we will not be witness to 23.86% of all the PICOS counts. We will not see the count coming from 18,000 660 PICOS machines. Okay, and 11 million 500 uh, million voters. That's a big figure. It's a matter of concern to us. We also know that the data which is already being manually uploaded right now to the CF card will go to the national COMELEC server, but may no longer come into our server. We will be blind to that large amount of data. It is too big. The impact is too significant. That is why we are making this press conference as an appeal. As an appeal as your citizens armed. We are asking in behalf of the voting public that this data be made available to us. We did not see the 9.65% of the people's transmissions we were not shown in 2010. We are praying, we are hoping, we are asking that there be no repetition in 2013 for the balance 23.86% of the PICOS, mission, PICOS transmissions that we have yet to see, we have yet to study, we have yet to analyze. As your citizens are doing a report, we are begging the COMELEC to make this data available. Thank you so much. At this point, we are opening the, uh, the forum for questions. I, I would like to add no, that even if the uh, transmission will cease from the transparency server while uh, proclamation is going on, our manual count of the election returns we have received from our volunteers from the different uh, uh, clustered precincts continue. No, that, has, that is not affected by any cessation of transmission that we are received, that we are supposed to receive. Um, it, sorry, one last addition. No? I think it's very important now. We see even more the importance of the manual encoding being done here. If we will not see 23.65% of the data because we are going to go dark, then we have the ERs coming in. We are able to encode them here through the PPCRB KDP count. Those ERs gain major significance in the absence of transmitted results because it is the only physical, physical proof of the votes that were actually cast. So we are not stopping that manual audit. It is of even greater significance should our transmissions be suspended. 
We are now um, entertaining questions. Thank you. Mr. President and uh, Ambassador De Villa, uh, does this mean that you are, have you formal, uh, would you be asking for the... At yan po ang isinasagawang press conference ng PPCRB ayon sa kanilang chairperson na si Tita De Villa, sumulat daw sila sa Commission on Elections para humingi ng paliwanag sa pagbagal umano ng transmission ng mga resulta mula sa mga PICOS machine. Ipinundo rin ng PPCRB na 28.86% umano pa ng mga boto ang hindi pa pumapasok sa transparency server at hinihiling nila sa COMELEC na ipakita ito sa kanila at tutol din daw sila sa pagpapasuspindi ng COMELEC sakaling may mga iproklama ng senador ngayong araw. Kaya kung itutuloy raw ng COMELEC ang proklamasyon ng ilan sa mga mananalong senador, mamayang gabi, hinihiling nila ang kopya ng resulta ng mga naturang boto. Noong 2010, 9.65% daw ng mga PICOS transmission ang hindi nila nasuri. Ayaw daw nila itong maulit ngayong eleksyon 2013.